just be, be out with us. us to NASA Bahamas. It is one of the most popular cruise ship destinations here in the Caribbean and up to seven cruises dock here per day. We have visited NASA on a cruise many times. This time we are actually staying here and creating lots of travel guide videos for NASA Bahamas. So be sure to check out the link in the description below for a complete NASA travel guide. If you're new to our channel, my name is Devon. And I'm Irina. And we are Just Be Out. We create informative travel videos so you can get the most out of your vacation. In this video, we want to show you everything you can do in NASA Bahamas for free or at the lowest possible cost. And we also created a Google Maps where we pinned each location that we are going to be talking about and we can email it to you absolutely free. Just check out the link in the description below. Let's start with things you can do right here at the port, NASA Bahamas. Just, Just be, be out, out with us. us. Right across the cruise ship port, you will find the port marketplace. It consists of many little colorful shacks where you can find souvenirs, apparel, and a little shacks with food and much more. It is a lot of fun and it is super close to the port. They are building a brand new port, so this market is temporary. But you know, everyone works on the island time here, so the port won't be ready for a while. Right alongside the cruise ship dock, there is Prince George Walk, where you can find lots of stores with uh, t-shirts, souvenirs, uh, bah bohemian apparel, uh, bars and the restaurants. Right parallel here to the street, there is East Bay Street, where you can also find jewelry, a name brand, um, shops where you can shop duty free if you're in the market for luxury brands they also have marathon mall where you can purchase all those luxury items duty free it is a little bit away from the port to get to the marathon mall you would have to take either the local bus or a taxi just a quick one minute walk from the cruise ship exit or entrance, you will find the world's famous straw market. It takes up the entire block from Prince George Walk to Bay Street. And here you will find again lots of souvenirs. When this market first originated, it was known for the locals making crafts and souvenirs out of straws. And walking through this market, you will actually see the locals hand stitching different designs on top of those straw bags it is awesome just keep in mind not all the souvenirs from there are authentic a lot of them are imported from china right behind me you will find senor frogs now this place if you don't know is a wild place a lot of drinking and of course you do have an opportunity to get a lot of bar food but the energy here is really high and there's also a lot of drinking most of the times when you come off the ship the ship is literally just about a five minute walk away from here and that's usually the way it is in most ports of call so, you know frogs is definitely on the main strip majority of the time but here you will have a wild time but if you're looking to have kind of a more down chill time but yet still have your drinks we're going to show you our next place that you should visit when you just want to just chill and laid back but still have your drinks the Bahamas have an extensive history of pirating and here in Nassau they even have a pirates museum located just a block away from senior frogs it is one of the low cost activities you can do with your kids the entrance fee for adults is 1350 and for kids is 650 remember how Devon mentioned that there is another spot for you to come have drinks and have a beautiful view well just three minute walk from the pirate museum come to enjoy the margaritaville resort even though yes it is a resort it is free to walk around in the lobby there are a few bars but if you take the elevator to the 10th floor there is a really beautiful bar with a gorgeous view of the caribbean sea the paradise island you can see the cruise ship port with all the cruises docked and a little bit of view of the atlantis so if you want to have a drink with a nice chill vibe and beautiful views margaritaville is a spot for you but 
I know this video is all about the budget. I mean, if you have a little bit of more budget, there is Fins Up Aqua Park here. It is really small. It is $79 per adult, and it is so close to the cruise ship port. So you can spend the entire day here at the park. There are restaurants, bars, and there are lazy river water slides. There is a private beach, jacuzzi, lots of lounge and chairs. So while your kids are splashing at the water park, you can be just relaxing and having some drinks and it is steps away from the sea as well. Margaritaville is located right next to the Junkano Beach. It's the most popular beach for tourists when you come off the cruise ship port and we're taking you there right now. Just be out with us. Right behind Margaritaville, you will find the popular Junkanoo Beach. It is the closest beach to the port. You can walk here. It is literally takes 10 minutes. And we are right now at Tiki Bikini Bar. It's right located right on the beach. Today it's a little quiet, but usually during the port days, there is a lot of music games going on and uh, right now we are having jerk chicken it's barbecue chicken this is uh, a barbecue chicken comes with the side of plantain coleslaw and also rice and peas are coming you and this is only 17 dollars they do cash and car they also have wi-fi here and this is um popular local beer it's called sands it's three for ten dollars we have tried their colic beer but we did not like it at all so when you come to Jankano beach you can in, uh, relax here enjoy you can also rent um, kayaks and pedal boards the prices go for about $50 I don't know if it's per hour or not you get to access their uh, floating slides and uh, choose either kayaks or paddle boards if you walk down the beach there is jet ski rental they go for about 130 an hour but uh, water sports are not regulated here in the Bahamas and we heard a lot of times this jet skis break just a 10 minute walk from Junkano Beach where we just were, you will arrive here, the fish fry. And I'm sure you probably heard of it and if you didn't, you probably will when you get here. So this place is really awesome. They have a lot of local restaurants, uh, local different shops where they make handcrafts and, and, and goods and of course a lot of drinking. We came here one night and it was just slammed with people, the vibe was crazy. All these restaurants you saw behind me, they have music, they each have their own DJ the music is blaring loud people are just out here a lot of locals having a good time and the food the food here is crazy and it's really good and affordable and they give you a large portion for Irina and I we would just order one dish and split it and we would be stuffed that's how much food they give you but one thing you do have to know when you order your food here be prepared to wait it doesn't come like you would normally expect it to come as far as far as the speed goes it takes a while to get your food especially if it's slammed and don't forget when you're here because it's all these local places bring cash they do not accept credit cards so if you come here and you want to get some of this local delicious food you won't get it unless you have cash so make sure you bring cash another thing you need to know when coming to fish fry all these little local shacks they don't have individual bathrooms. there's only one designated spot in this area for restrooms. so basically it's over 33 restaurants and one bathroom like I said, during the nighttime, it really pops off here. The energy gets really high. You'll see a lot of people drinking, but really cool. It feels safe because I know a lot of you might wonder, is it safe? It is safe because at the beginning of fish fry and at the end of fish fry, there are actually police stations right here on the premises. So that's really cool. Nothing for you to be worried about. So don't forget when coming off a cruise ship, make sure you stop here and get some local eats. You can thank us later. Just an easy 10 minute walk from Fish Fry, you will find another popular spot, Ardastra Gardens and Wildlife Conservation Center. It is $20 per person to get in. Just keep in mind, right now on Google Maps, it only shows that they are open Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. And I read some reviews during COVID, you did need an appointment to get in. So be sure to email them prior your cruise ship visit and 
and find out their exact hours of operations. Here you will find a lot of farm and zoo animals, but what it's really popular for is the flamingos. They do flamingo shows here where you will see flamingos parading around and you can also get in and take photos with them. So if you have never seen a flamingo up close and personal and never interacted with the flamingo, this will be a good spot for you. Just five minute walk away from Margaritaville, you can come for a free rum tour at John Watling's Rum Distillery. This is local bohemian rum and the tour is absolutely free. You don't even need to come to a certain time. As you come in, you will be greeted with free pina colada samples. They are pretty strong. And right away, the guide will greet you and take you out on a tour. The tour is really quick. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And after you tour, you can purchase rum sampling. They have a few different varieties. And also here, uh, interesting fact, they actually produce vodka. So why this vodka is special? Well, first of all, it's made out of sugar cane, not your regular wheat or potato vodka. It is gluten-free, so they first filter it through coconut charcoal, and then they filter it through pink sand that comes from one of the islands here in the Bahamas. And a part of the earnings from this vodka go to wildlife conservation. It's pretty cool. So after your tour, you can come for tasting, but you have to pay for tasting. You have three different shots for $10, four shots for $15, five shots for $21. Or you can also purchase their signature cocktails here. The rum distillery closes at 6 p.m. So after you tasting, you can come out here to the courtyard and there is also a small food truck. So after all those rum shots if you want to get some food you can get uh, food here including their famous conch fritters just down the street from the rum distillery there is this awesome place tea factory and they do free tours uh, they br if you if you're taking an island tour, this is one of the stops for an island tour. Here you will find uh, a little bar where you can get some drinks. And inside this colorful building, there is the tea, tasty tea factory. They do make their teas right upstairs. All their teas have different health benefits and they're all organic, no sugar added. And they do have inside a little spot where you can purchase sour sap juice, for example, or teas as well if you've been following our Belize trips uh, you know that we love soursop and this is soursop juice here in this area uh, you also can find an ice cream shop and they do have soursop flavor as well and this is also a popular spot to take pictures with awesome graffiti right around it they have their own organic plant garden uh, where they actually use all those plants and flowers to make the teas that they sell inside. So on the free tour, you get a sampling of all the teas that they are selling and you can purchase the tea uh, already made or in a tea bag. We actually got four different packs. We got the Moringa, we have soursop tea, lemongrass and hibiscus flower. They're updating their upstairs factory, so soon they will be able to take you upstairs and show you how the teas are being made. So when you come here to the Bahamas, this could be one of the free things to do. Come to the Tasty Factory for a free tour and tea sampling. Cheers! Another free location you can visit is the Bahamas Rum Cake Factory. 
It is really popular with tourist destination and as you can see there is a tour bus right behind me that brings bus loads of tourists but it is only 10 minute walk from the actual port. Well when you come here do not expect an actual factory it's just a store where they sell rum cake. Rum cake is incredible here in the Bahamas it's a must try and this is one of the places where you can actually try it for free. However they do bake these rum cakes here on the premises so you know it's fresh and it is delicious. Let's go take a look inside and have some samples. Hello you guys. Hello, hello, hello. good. And you doing only ca cash only or you do cards too? We do card, minimum of $20 to use the okay, card. Okay, okay. And uh, you have uh, samples here? Yes ma'am, we do what, have samples right here. What kind of samples these are? Okay, this one is the original with pecans and this one is the pecans? chocolate. Pecans? Original with pecans and chocolate. Then you go try both okay. flavors, all right? All right. Don't be shy, try both flavors. All right, so we have the original rum cake with pecans. Look, it's very moist, it's very soft. Mm. That rum flavor, it reminds me of pancake but soaked in rum. There are different brands that make this rum cake. If you're coming off the cruise ship or airplane, it is okay to take this rum cakes with you. So there are different brands that make rum cake. This is a rum cake factory brand. We also have tried Tartuga brand. And in my opinion, Tartuga brand has more rum flavor and it's a little bit more moist. Anywhere you walk and you see them selling the rum cakes, usually they do samples. So you can actually get to try different brand before purchasing it. Another popular place to visit is the Queen's Staircase. This is a man-made staircase, this is limestone. It took 600 slaves to hand ch chisel uh, uh, this limestone to make this staircase and it took them 16 years. And this staircase uh, is built for the Queen in case of the attack, it would be much easier for her to uh, escape through these stairs. It uh, takes about 10 minutes for you to walk from the actual um, cruise ship port but the path is a little hilly um, some parts of the streets does not have a sidewalk so and uh, they do offer they do sell coconuts right at the entrance of the staircase if you come here by yourself without a tour guide there is a tour guide standing at the front of the stairs and he gives you a little bit of history History about the stairs and of course he expects a little tip from you as well and right above the staircase on the top level you will find a fort it is a pretty place to take pictures but again if you have problems walking that would not be a place for you no, thank you we are now at Fort Finn's castle. And this castle was built primarily, obviously, to protect, and it overlooks the sea. But it really had little action because there was not much protecting to do. So instead, if you look behind me, you see this white tower. It was actually more used for uh, signaling ships and is as a lighthouse, basically, to guide ships in and out. That was primarily the use for this actual fort. It's located right around the corner from Queen's Stairs. So they're literally really close to each other. And along the way coming up here, you'll find a lot of vendors selling a lot of souvenirs and gift items. Just at the top of the stairs, you will find refreshing coconuts. So after going up and down those stairs and coming over here and going back, you could get yourself some refreshing coconut on the way. Currently, at the moment, it is closed and it is closed due to renovation. There is a dollar charge, so it's just something to keep in mind when coming here. There is a small admission, but it's really cool in there. I've been there before. There are cannons up on the top there and there's also like prison cells that you could actually go into. They leave the gates open so you can go inside the cells and you can kind of see what it's like. So if you come here, definitely check this out. It's worth seeing. 
another popular thing to do when coming off the cruise ship is visiting the Atlantis Resort. You can come and take a look at this giant tank with all these different species of fishes and explore the royal tower absolutely free and the resort is absolutely gorgeous it is a marine scene and the decorations are beautiful and it has a lot of instagrammable pictures it has a Poseidon's throne it has a lot of a blown a glass blown sculptures it is really nice so if you want to go inside the Atlantis grounds they have an aqua park aqua venture to get in it, it is hundred and ninety dollars for an adult per, per person currently but you do not have to go inside if you do have the budget and the full day of course we highly recommend to go in we've been there many times but if you are on the budget which this video is all about we highly recommend to come to the atlantis resort and experience the royal tower and we put together a video of six ways on how to get here to paradise island from your cruise ship port so be sure to subscribe to our channel and click notification button just a 20 minute walk from the atlantis resort or from the bridge where you would either take a ferry or a walk across you can walk to four seasons resorts there are beautiful gardens there that you can walk around and take lots of pictures for free and the resort is also really beautiful you can just walk around it right behind the resort there is a free public beach that you can go to it is called the cabbage beach uh, a lot of cruisers go there and you know the beach is on the island so it's perfect and just keep in mind it is closed on the weekend whether you're coming to NASA Bahamas on a cruise or just staying in NASA, we hope you enjoy this free things to do and low cost. We have created 14 videos on everything NASA Bahamas and Atlantis, including a complete NASA travel guide, walking tours, things to do, and things you must know about the Bahamas. We will leave the link in the description below. And you can also click on the playlist right here on the screen to access those videos. If you would like to get a free Google map with all the places we spoke about in this video, check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.